okay, how do you feel? Do you feel a little bit better? Do you feel a little bit calmer? Do you feel a little bit less anxious? A little bit less stressed? Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to relieve your anxiety quickly. And uh, this is super important because obviously all of the stuff that's been happening in the world right now, but I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you my number one tip for overcoming anxiety. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's actually way more simple than you could think. But that doesn't mean that it's easy. It's actually, even though it's so ridiculously simple, I know that for a majority of people listening to this, it's going to be really hard for you to actually do this to relieve your anxiety. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Recently, I've been so freaking busy. I've been spinning so many plates. We have so many events that are coming up. We're hiring new people. We're creating new programs. We're making sure that we give our clients who are currently paying us the best possible experience that they can. I'm on lives, I'm talking to people, I'm coaching people, all of this stuff. It's literally like a rocket ship. And with a rocket ship, it's all good stuff. But if not kept at bay, it can creep up on you to be like a holy shit moment. There's a lot going on and I'm kind of stressed out about it. And for me, I noticed the anxious thoughts starting to creep in. And so that's what I'm going to tell you is what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks to kind of keep them at bay. But especially not just me, but with all of the stuff that's happening in the world right now, all of the uncertainty of what, what's going on. Is the virus still here? Is it, are we staying in lockdown? We're in lockdown. We're not in lockdown. We're back in lockdown again. Are we wearing masks? We're not wearing masks. Could I die from this? There's so much anxious thoughts that are coming from this. This is going to help so many people if you can just do this. And your brain, even though you're trying to keep it at bay, your brain's constantly in the background thinking, is this happening? Is this not happening? Am I safe? Am I not safe? How should I do this? How should I walk? Should, how should I, am I able to walk up to a person, shake their hand? Are they going to be, and there's so many things, so many variables that are just all over the place for people. I'm going to teach you how to try to keep those things at bay and how to calm them down so that you can operate at the highest level possible for you. And before I tell you my secret, there's one thing that it's going to piss a lot of people off. It's maybe not piss people off. It's going to make you sad. One thing that makes it absolutely worse is caffeine. I said it. Yes, you're coffee. If you have anxious thoughts throughout the day, if you feel really way too stressed throughout the day and you're drinking coffee in the morning, it is making it way worse, way worse. So I would recommend if you're having anxious thoughts, if you're having, you know, if you're getting anxiety, if you're getting some little bit of feels like you're a little bit depressed or that you're sad or that you're super freaking stressed out, wean yourself off of coffee for a little while, right? If you can't go cold Turkey and you got to wean yourself off, switch from, from coffee to when you're making coffee, do half decaf, half caffeinated and try that out for a little while. And if you can't do that, go green tea. Just do something that has less caffeine so it, it, you can start to not be so dependent on it. You'll notice your stress levels, your anxiety levels go down a ton. So let me tell you what I've been doing. It's super simple, but it is ridiculously profound. Once again, just because it's easy and it's simple doesn't mean that it's easy to do and to more, make yourself do. And if you're dealing with anxious thoughts, this definitely won't be easy, but it's worth it. And it works. Here's what it is. I've been breathing. And you guys are listening to me are probably like, no, sh we all have, right? <laughs> but I don't mean just breathing. I mean, extremely intentional breathing. And if you've ever been on a live with me before, if you've ever been on a Zoom call, a Facebook live, a live event, I try to start every single meeting that I do. Every single morning when we do our team calls, we start off with breathing. Every single time that we get everyone together for our mastermind, we start all of it with breathing. And I'm gonna go much deeper into what I do, the reasons why I do this, the science behind it for all of you analytical skeptics that are out there. I'm gonna go through all of these things in just a minute. But I want you to try this with me, okay? We're gonna do something that we've never done before in a podcast. We're gonna to breathe together. And don't turn me off and be like, oh, I know how to breathe. Trust me with this, right? There's a lot of science behind this. If you're hanging out at home or you're in a, a good place, you can close your eyes while you do this. If you're driving your car, don't recommend closing your eyes and breathing with me, but you can still breathe. All of this will take about one minute, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. You and I are gonna do six deep breaths together, okay? Reason why is because there was a, a, a Chinese study that was done not too long ago. And they found that if you do six really deep, slow, intentional breaths, that it can completely change your state because the breathing changes your heart rate and your heart rate changes the, the, the breathing and your heart rate, both of those together change 
the hormones that are put into your body. So instead of cortisol and adrenaline, which can be very stressful, it can start to calm yourself down and give you some dopamine, some oxytocin, some serotonin, the things that start to calm you down. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna breathe in through the nose. You don't need to do it with me yet, I'll count it with you. We're gonna breathe in through the nose. And when we exhale, we're gonna exhale through the mouth. Now, when you do this on your own, it's really important to try to make your inhale and your exhale as long as you possibly can. And so when you do it, you could breathe in the nose and go, and then breathe out and go if you wanted to. But actually what you wanna do is you wanna to try to take your lips and make the smallest hole that you possibly can and breathe out. And that will actually slow down the breathing process. And there's a fact, it's literally a fact that when you, you start to do a long exhale, that it actually makes your, your heart start beating slower. And when your heart starts beating slower, obviously that will calm you down. We're not gonna do that, you can do it if you want to, but in a typical time, when you're doing these 60 breaths, it'd, it'd be more of, and you just let it out as slow as you possibly can. But for time's sake, just breathe with me instead. We're gonna do a little bit different, okay? So if you can do it, close your eyes. If you can't close your eyes, don't close your eyes. But I'm gonna count you through. All you gotta do is just breathe with me. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, how do you feel? Do you feel a little bit better? Do you feel a little bit calmer? Do you feel a little bit less anxious? A little bit less stressed, right? It's literally just breathing, but it is intentional breathing is obviously what's important. Now, here's the important things as, as you go through this. What we didn't do is we didn't even go a little bit more advanced. The more advanced is when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in to your stillness, find the stillness that you can in your breathing in. And in your exhale, what I want you to do is I want you to breathe out the bullshit, breathe out the stress, breathe out the worry, breathe out the to-do list, breathe out the thoughts, breathe out all of those things. I want you to just try to connect to the stillness that is inside of you. Do you feel different? I know if you did it right, you probably do. Even if you didn't do it right, you probably still feel different. Slow, intentional breathing has been shown scientifically to reduce anxiety and depression inside of people. Don't underestimate the power of your breathing. Now I'm gonna go deeper into telling you guys what I've been doing just besides that to help you guys out with the anxiety and anxious thoughts and stress and worry and all that stuff. But if you just look at what's important to humans, right? Like food, for instance, you cannot eat food for weeks. You can go without food for weeks and still live. Water, you can go a couple days without water, but breath, maybe a couple minutes, so if we're ranking breath, water, food on the importance scale, what's the most important? Clearly breath is. Breath is the first thing to change whenever your state changes. When you get excited, it's clinically shown that the very first thing to change in somebody during excitement is the breath inside of somebody. When you get anxious feelings, when you feel anxiety, the very first thing to change in you before your hormones, before your thoughts, any of those things is your breath. When you feel fear, the very first thing to change inside of you is your breath. And so what do we do is if we want to change our own state, we intentionally change our breathing to intentional breathing. And that's how you bring your body back to normal. Since I've been telling you, I've been so freaking busy and a little bit anxious and stressed out over the past week. How have I been using this? I've been sitting down and forcing myself to not just do 60 breaths, but to do this as long as possible until I can feel that the anxious thoughts, the stress, the worry, the fear, whatever's popping up in my head is going away. 
until I feel different. And if I'm being honest with you, it usually takes about 20, 25, 30 minutes to feel this way. This is the hard part about it. This is why people have so much struggle to meditation is because there's so much anxiety that comes up, so many anxious thoughts, the to-do list, the fears, all of those things come up. And it's basically like your subconscious, your ego fighting against you to, you know, the, the easiest way to think about it is if you put a child to bed, the little kid will fight and fight and fight to going to bed, even though they're, they, they need to go to bed and they're wanting to go to bed and they're angry and they're crazy because they are so tired, they fight to not go to bed. And that fighting and staying up makes them even more angry and even more emotional. That's exactly what happens when you sit down, when you're anxious and you try to meditate. All of the anxious feelings will do everything that they can to make you not sit down and meditate. And so what you wanna do when you sit down, I literally have been doing this every morning for about 25 minutes and I can feel myself start to get even more anxious during the first five, 10, 15 minutes of meditation. And then eventually my body kind of calms down and it's like, okay, we're not gonna do this, we're gonna chill. And so what you wanna do is you can either feel the breath going in your nose and out of your mouth, in your nose, out of your mouth, and just pay attention to that feeling. Or what I've been doing is feeling the muscles around my stomach. I can feel the muscles on my stomach when I breathe in, I can feel them go out around my diaphragm. And when I breathe out, I can feel them going in. And all I say is breathing in, in my head I'm saying breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. And your mind will wander, it'll go all over the place. It'll try to fight, it'll try to say, no, this isn't what you should be doing. But just like, you know, like I, I know that for, for our puppy, he goes crazy sometimes. He bites Toby and Toby's 12 years old and our puppy's eight, years old, eight months old and he goes crazy on him and we have to train him not to do those types of things. So what we'll do is we'll hold him in place and be like, no, that's not what you do. And he'll fight and he'll fight and he'll fight and he'll fight and fight. And eventually he's like, <sighs> and he literally does a breath. If you've ever noticed when your dog goes to lay down, what do they do? They go, and they breathe out. That's what dogs do to calm themselves down. So you have to realize that you have to sit there and you have to fight through the anxious feelings because you're going to feel more anxious when you sit down to breathe, promise you that. And so what I do is I do this breathing, slow in through the nose, slow out through the mouth for 15, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes at a time. And I can feel myself fight it and 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 fight it. And eventually it's like, and it just kind of gives out. And what am I doing? I'm destroying the anxious thoughts. I'm getting rid of the anxious thoughts. I'm getting rid of the stress. I'm getting rid of the fear. I'm getting rid of the worry. Anything that's going through my mind, I'm telling my mind, I will not allow you to act the way that you're acting. Because anxiety and stress and worry and fear all come from your thoughts. They do. And so I'm telling my mind, I'm not going to allow you to do this. I'm not going to allow you to do this. I'm not going to allow you to do this. And it's going to fight and it's going to fight. It's going to fight. It's going to fight. And it's going to go, all right, fine. And it might take 15 to 20 minutes to even get to the, all right, fine. But if you don't want to feel anxious anymore, then that's just something that you need to do. It's not that you don't have enough time. It's just that you're not willing to do it. Don't ever say that I don't have enough time. Just say it's not a priority, right? So if you're wanting to stop being so anxious, if you're wanting to calm down, if you're wanting to stop worrying, it comes from your, your breath because your breath is in charge of every feeling that you have and you break through those feelings. And that's what you're trying to conquer is those anxious thoughts, the worry, the stress, the fear, the feelings. <sighs> you're just trying to get all of those to subside. And eventually you'll find a place where you'll be in and it might take you some time, but you'll go, you know what? I feel pretty good. I feel like this breathing exercise is done. You don't even have to call it meditation because I guess it's not even meditation. It can be if you want it to be, or you can just say, you know what? I'm just going to breathe. I'm not gonna put any time to it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until my anxious thoughts, my stress, my worries, my fears, all of those things subside. And then I'm gonna give myself a few minutes to rest in that peace and know that I can always come back to this peace. And when you do this, you'll realize that your day is completely different, completely different. So you do this when you first wake up, because that's usually when your cortisol is at the highest, which means you're stressing out, which means that you're worried, that you have anxious thoughts. That's when it's the highest for me. Cortisol is usually actually what wakes you up and cortisol is the stress hormone. So I feel it in the morning. So I force myself to calm down. I force myself, I'm going to be the one that's in charge of my brain. I'm not gonna let my brain be able to do whatever it wants to do. I'm going to wrangle it and I'm gonna make it calm down and I'm gonna get rid of my anxious thoughts, my feelings, my worry, my stress by simply going back to the breath. This is something that you can do at any moment at any time, anywhere in the world throughout the day. This is something that will make you more powerful because when you can control your mind, you can control everything else around you.
But once again, it's so simple, but it's not easy. You've got to force yourself to do it and you've got to know. Last thing I'll say, you've got to know that your mind is going to fight you for a little while and it's going to be really freaking hard to stay still. You've got to go against those feelings and eventually, like a child who's just fighting not to go to bed, eventually they're going to fall asleep and eventually your feelings are going to subside. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. The reason why I, I am the quote unquote mindset guy is because I have to work on my mindset sometimes more than other people just to motivate myself to get shit done. Whoa.